Welcome back to Incredible Science, guys. One hand to catch it, you see that? I want to thank you all for being here and watching this 1000 degree knife versus liquid nitrogen. I am scared and excited to do this because I don't know if it's going to explode in my face, if it's going to make a huge liquid nitrogen cloud and everything. I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm excited to try it with you. But first of all, I want to say thank you because if you're one of the first 24 hour people, does that make sense? One of the first people to be watching this video in the first 24 hours, thank you. And I'm giving this away to one of you guys. All you have to do if you're watching this within the first 24 hours is head on down to the comment section. Look at the first comment that's pinned on top and there's a link below. If you want to know when I post a video so that next time you could be watching this in the first 24 hours and be having a chance, I forgot how to speak English, and have a chance to win, click on the little bell near the subscribe button. Now, now don't tell me you're not subscribed because you got to click subscribe first. You got to subscribe. And then click on the bell near the subscribe button. If this intro is not cringy enough for you now, I'm about to start the video, but I just want to tell you to please like this video, comment below. Now, just one more thing before we start the video, guys. If you want to see another liquid nitrogen video, but with like 10 things in it, I'm talking about slime, I'm talking about silly string, I'm talking about Hershey's chocolate syrup, I'm talking about splat balls, I'm talking about real eggs that I am putting in liquid nitrogen to see what happens. All you gotta do is click like. And if this video gets 37 million likes by tomorrow morning, I will be doing that video. No, 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 it's a little, let's lower it. If this video gets two likes by tomorrow morning, I will be doing it tomorrow. So basically the video is coming tomorrow, but give this video a big like, a big thumbs up, and let's get to the video. All right, guys, welcome back to Incredible Science. There's been something I've been wanting to try for a really long time. Ever since the hot knife trend took over YouTube, I was thinking, what's the coldest thing that I could put this against and see if it would slice through it? And the answer I came up with was dry ice. And I made a video of it, and it was pretty cool. I put that video on my main channel, and I'll link it below. It sliced through it, it made some cool sounds, and that was that. But then I was thinking, there actually is something colder than dry ice. And that is liquid nitrogen. I'm excited slash nervous because it could be really cool, it could be totally nothing, but I, I, I'm just really curious to see. So I have my gloves, I have my glasses in case there is a big splash up. I will be protected. My eyes and hands and everything else should be fine. Should be fine once it's heated up. Let's get the lights back on. Let's go to blue for the liquid nitrogen. Which one will win? Blue versus red. Liquid nitrogen versus a red hot thousand degree knife. Now this should look a lot cooler. Wow, that was awesome. That was cool. How's that for a thumbnail, maybe? Okay, let's do this while I still have some left. Let's get it blazing hot. All right, about to put it in. This should be good. All right, here it goes. This thing is really, really red. Ready? In three, two, one. Bubbling, but you see that cloud. Look at the cloud on the table here. Ah, oh, it's cold. It's freezing cold. Now that is a reaction. All right, are you guys ready? In three, two, one. Three, two, one. And there it is. 
the knife, the 1,000 degree knife in liquid nitrogen, and nothing is happening. It's just bubbling. It seems like the liquid nitrogen is winning. It's cooling off this 1,000 degree knife. Can I touch it? Still hot, but definitely, as you saw, I was able to touch it. Really cool. Really, really cool. Not too hot either. And nothing. It's just bubbling. Still hot. Definitely evaporated some liquid nitrogen. Let's do it again. Three, two, one. And there it is. The knife, the 1,000 degree knife in liquid nitrogen. And nothing is happening, it's just bubbling. It seems like the liquid nitrogen is winning. It's cooling off this 1,000 degree knife. Can I touch it? It's still hot, but definitely as you saw, I was able to touch it. The liquid nitrogen is the clear winner here. Can I even touch that? No, I can't. Let me bring it closer to you guys here. Liquid nitrogen versus the knife. So that's it guys, I am alive to tell the tale. That was really cool. I was nervous, I was so nervous when I was putting the knife down. But it was really anticlimactic. I, I was hoping for, I was ready for it. I was like, bring it on. Bring on the cloud, whatever you got. Just let's do it. I've been in much bigger liquid nitrogen clouds. If you've seen, have you seen this video from the vlog channel? Okay, right. So, so I was ready for it. I messed up. I used every single drop of liquid nitrogen. I forgot that I wanted to inject Orbeez with liquid nitrogen in this syringe. And I'm all out. I'm all out because after I did the hot knife and liquid nitrogen, I demolished tons of stuff using the liquid nitrogen. It was pretty cool. And I wanted to check out the vlog and give this video a big thumbs up if you want to see what I did here tonight. So I did I did a silly string and I did, that was actually, it looks nasty as chocolate syrup. It turned into a solid. Someone asked me, really smart person, what if you take chocolate syrup pour it in liquid nitrogen, it'll turn into a solid piece of chocolate and you could eat it. So that's what happened actually. I did slime. Let me show you something really interesting. This was this was an Orbi water, it's actually still part icy. Little water ball, a giant water ball. And this was a raw egg that turned into a solid and now it's back. I don't wanna touch this nastiness. It's sort of half solid and half liquid. Ooh, thing smells. Wow, this slime right here turned solid. All this stuff was really cool. This ice is here, right here. I dumped it in. Hair gel, slimy hair gel. Look how slimy it is. It turned solid in the liquid nitrogen. This is a piece of it, actually. It's still cold, but it, it's back into hair gel. So that's the problem with getting this on the floor. Like, for example, the egg. Well, this splat ball also, this splat ball turned solid. That was like a fake egg. The problem is getting it on the floor. I got, I did glue. You see that glue over there? That was a solid as well. Elmer's glue, regular Elmer's glue was a solid chunk. Again, if you want to see all that, if you want to see that video, give this video a thumbs up. And if this video gets, let's get a reasonable like. I never really reach my like goals. Nobody likes me. Um, Give this video a like, show me the love, and if this video, if this video gets 2,000 likes, I'll show you all of that. Truthfully, I'm going to show it to you anyway, but just give this video a like. So what I was trying to say before was that the problem is when I smash it and it gets all over the floor, you think it's a solid. It is a solid, but I can't leave it there because in about a half hour to an hour, that's all going to melt. Well, it's going to warm up and go back to its original state. So if pieces of egg, solid egg, were on the floor, if pieces of solid glue, solid hair gel, if I would let that warm up, that would just be a complete mess. I would have wet hair gel, wet slime, a wet, like a cracked, soft egg on the floor. So I had to clean it up. But anyway, that's the story. So I just wanted to tell you, give this video a like, check out the vlog for more of that stuff, and I need more liquid nitrogen. 
Now don't forget guys, head on over to the vlog channel for more giveaways. And that's it guys, until tomorrow, stay incredible and peace.